Hey guys, Steve Bivens here again with uh, another one of my 52 things that I think I know. Uh, and it is week eight. Uh, I'm running a little behind if you're watching this live every week. Uh, so I'm going to actually do two today to catch up. Uh, today's is the past doesn't drive the future or the present for that matter. Uh, hello, Richard. Welcome for joining us, joining me. Uh, so, I, as most, some of you may know, uh, hello, mom. <laughs> as some of you may know, uh, I'm a historian by training. So uh, this was this was a real revelation to me in in the last couple of years, uh, thanks in part to a friend of mine who turned me on to the late great Alan Watts, a philosopher who died in like 1974. Uh, and he did a, a whole lecture on the, the past and the present and the future and, uh, and, and essentially made the argument that the past isn't the cause of the present or the future. That in fact, the present is the cause of the past <laughs> and the future. So it's the present moment that actually causes things to happen, not the past. <clears throat> now, he, he used the analogy of a boat moving through the water, okay? Behind the boat is the wake of the ship or the boat, right? And, and that is the past. That's, it shows you where the boat has been, not where it is, right? Well, the wake of the boat doesn't, determine where the boat goes, right? Only the boat and the, the captain of the ship, i.e. you, me, decides which way that boat goes, right? So we can turn that boat at any point. Now you can look back into your past and say, well, I went there and there and there, and some of those weren't great places to go. Uh, and it might show you the direction you're going at the moment, but it doesn't determine the direction you go right now or tomorrow or the five seconds from now. At any point, you can turn the ship a different direction. So what actually causes the past is the present turning the ship. It, just like the ship causes the wake behind it, not the other way around. So <clears throat> it's, it's a kind of a deep concept to think about. But the more I've thought about it, the more it's true. Uh, it's just an absolute truth that the past does not cause the future. Just because something happened yesterday does not mean that you have to respond or react in a particular way. Now we do react a lot of times to things that happened, you know, in the past or five seconds ago or whatever, but it's a reaction and it's a choice, which, which is, it's another video I'll probably do later. Um, we always have a choice though on what our response will be. Now reactions sometimes are tough to control, but they can be controlled with a lot of work. Uh, responses is when you pause and think, okay, is this the direction I want to keep going or not? Nothing compels you to go in the direction you're already going. Nothing at all, except for your own mind. So you can change and miss that iceberg if you're if you're sailing the Titanic across the North Atlantic. Uh, if you turn, you can miss the iceberg. Now that doesn't mean you won't hit one, right? Because no one knows what's out in front of the boat, under the water, right? That's the future. We don't control that. Hello, cousin. Uh, um, so anyway, this is a sh yeah, I want to keep these short, so I don't want to ramble on too long. So if you're coming here at the end, back up and check it out. Uh, but this is a concept to think about, okay? The past does not drive the, the present or the future. It doesn't cause it. In fact, there is no cause or effect. There's only react. There's things that happen, and then there's our reaction or response. Responses are better <laughs> if you can manage it. Pause, think at least for a second, if not longer, 
and then respond to that situation and change your direction or not, depending on what you decide. But it's your decision, my decision, everyone's decision. All right, guys. I shall see you shortly because I'm going to do two of these to catch up this week uh, today. So uh, maybe you're hanging around here in a minute and you'll catch the second one. All right. See you on the next one.